Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Lessons and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. Each day, Monday through Friday, I've selected a composer who has had a role to play with both organizations. Today, it's Arthur Honegger, born in 1892, died in 1955. He was Swiss, but spent most of his life in Paris, so he thought of himself as both. He married in 1926, and I think it's a rather unusual, but, you know, composers do different things. He was married to André Vorabur, but he needed his privacy, so they only met at lunch each day. Other than that, he lived somewhere else. He composed uh, a work in 1921 called King David. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, in 1927, he wrote the film score for the movie Napoleon, which was a huge, big deal. Abel Gantz had been the filmmaker, and uh, it had 23 different soundtracks to it. I know about this piece because back in the 70s, when I was at Minnesota Opera as music director, we had just finished at the Guthrie Theater a dress rehearsal of La Boheme. And when I came off the stage, the man from the Walker Art Center next door came to me and asked what I was doing that evening. And I said, well, actually, I was going to come to the Walker because I wanted to see this film, so famous, uh, Napoleon, and uh, see what this pianist that had come to play for it uh, would do with a score that was so long. He said, well, actually, he's ill, so would you mind playing? I said, could I see this, the music? And uh, he said, we have no music. And I said, what about seeing the film? And he said, it's five hours long. I said, fine, I will go home and change and I will be back at seven. If you could just give me a little diagram of what the scenes are, then I have something to go from. And when he told me it was the music of Honegger, I said, oh, I love that music, so I can do something in that style, which I did. And uh, that was the beginning of my thinking about doing silent movies, which is another whole story. Then years later at Vocal Lessons, I thought, you know, at Christmas time, we don't just want to do Christmas music. I bet people want to hear other things. Not true. Because I selected one year Joan of Arc at the Stake, a wonderful piece, but not really something you want to listen to in December. And uh, so we never did something like that again. We did, however, do a piece called A Christmas Cantata, which was really the last big piece he wrote in 1955. And it's an amazing work, uh, very brooding at the beginning, O come, O come, Emmanuel. But then near the end, it breaks into this big rejoicing, uh, Laudate Dominum, O praise the Lord. And the children sing the chorale melody. The chorus is singing all behind it. It's an amazingly wonderful piece. And then, which I can't play for you, the postlude with the orchestra brings four different Christmas carols right on top of each other for a grand finale. But here is part of Laudate Dominum. So we have the children. And the men and the altos.
then it goes from there right into that grand big post hood. The end of the Christmas cantata of Arthur Honegger. He was known for his sonorities of orchestra writing, his colorful harmonies, and as I mentioned, he'd also early on, 1921, was asked to do a piece called King David. And it was a huge sensation. It was an unusual little orchestra that he used at that time. Chorus, soloists. We've performed it here several times at Vocal Lessons and at Plymouth Church. And it has wonderful writing for the chorus, for the soloists. And then finally, at the very end, uh, the part says, And God said, The day shall dawn, bringing a flower newly born. It's a sort of lo how a rose air blooming. So here is the last section of that beautiful piece that ends with an alleluia heard over and over. Music of Arthur Honegger. Have a wonderful day.